All right, the purpose of this video is to real quick give you a way that you can create a line following robot. Uh, I just created a little tiny, I mean, real just whipped it together, just two motors and just these two little guys right here that drags and then my um, color sensor, which I'm gonna use for my line follower, okay? And so I've got that, I've got it hooked up. I've already done the VEX OS um, update to make sure that everything is up to date. Uh, and now I've opened up VEX IQ uh, blocks. I need to click on the devices link in the upper right. Click add device. I have a two motor drivetrain. And if I could remember which one I did. Uh, let's see, I did one and six. I want the front, I want the back of the robot no, with the, I'll have the front of the robot right here. So if the front is right here, then this is my left motor. And so my left motor is in six, and my right motor is in one, and I don't have a gyro setup. Uh, the wheel size, I think I'm using 250 millimeter wheels. It doesn't really matter too much for this example. And then I'm going to add a color sensor. And I have that plugged into port 7, so you can plug those into whatever port you want. Uh, just make sure you indicate it correctly in the devices area. Well, once I've done that, now I can go ahead and select all different kinds of things in here. Um, and really, actually what I should show you first is uh, open an example, and there's a line follower in here. It's under sensing, and it should be, where is it? Well, maybe it's not under sensing. Line tracking, there it is. Okay, and if you select line tracking, yeah, we're gonna discard our previous program. Um, but let me go ahead and explain what we've got going on here. So it says, when started, and this gray thing, that's just a note, we don't need that. When started, set color three is the name of the color sensor, and actually ours is on seven. So I'm gonna change that to seven change it to seven here so that we're not confused and then we're going to change uh, left motor right motor that's fine we'll just leave them as one and six so that's fine all right so make sure when you open up the example that your devices are set to the right ports that you have them plugged in okay so it's setting the light to 25 percent there's a little light on here that it'll turn it on so that it shines down and reflects back up. And that's gonna allow you to have more consistent reading. Um, then it's gonna say forever. It's gonna run this loop forever. Anything inside this guy right here is going to run forever. And so then in there, we've got an if statement. And so if color three, and actually it's color seven, right? I forgot to change it. If color seven brightness is greater than 25, then spin the left motor forward for 35 degrees. Um, and then if that's not true, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these little notes here. If that is not true, if it is greater than 25%, then it's going to spin the right motor forward for 35 degrees. So it's just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Do I see it? No, turn, do I see it? No, turn, do I see it? Yes, turn the other way. Do I see it? No, turn, yes, no. And it's just gonna go back and forth, back and forth like that. Um, you can adjust these values right here to get a better line following. Um, but now, it looks like it doesn't see my brain right now. So let me disconnect and connect it again. And now it sees my brain, and that's good. And so now I'm gonna download it. I'll just save it and then I'll run it and my cable's probably going to pull out once I click run. That's okay. So I'll click run. So actually we got those motors backwards. So here, let me unplug them. Okay. So it's going to go until it finds it and there we go. It found it. Oh, my keyboard is in the way. <laughs> Oh, it went off course. So here. So the problem is, if it loses that line, it's just going to keep on doing 
what it's doing. And so you can see it's real hard for it to follow this circle real tight. I mean, once it gets on it, maybe, but here it's probably gonna lose it here in a second. Yep, okay. So what I need to do is adjust my settings here. Instead of 35 degrees, I'm gonna have it just do like 20 degrees. And so it's gonna give me a much finer. Now it's not gonna go as fast, but it's still gonna follow that line. Let's download it. All right, and now I'll run it. I'm gonna set it on the line this time, cheat a little bit. So now you can see it's going much smaller increments and it's gonna drive right off the edge here, isn't it? Yep, okay, so it's really, a lot of it is fine tuning. I wonder if putting it forward would actually help. Let's see. You can tell I haven't tried this before I started recording the video, um, but that's exactly how you learn. Let's see here. Um, so yeah, I'll swap the motors. So in left motor, I don't want it to be in one. Let's see here. I want it to be in six, but I'm gonna just need to choose something else right now. So the right motor I want to be in one, and then the left motor I want to be in six. Okay, now I'll download it. So now it's gonna go forward, what I had originally intended to be forward. Okay, now run, okay. So if the line follower is underneath or right in line with the axle or the axis, then you're probably gonna get better results. See now, what happened here? As soon as we got to this right here, it's almost like a 90. So it might be too much for it to handle. It got it this time. But again, it just might be a little too much. Yeah. So when I'm dealing with very tight turns, I'm gonna wanna choose way smaller amounts here. If I did like 10 degrees and 10 degrees, it's gonna really creep along. But let's see if that's accurate. And so you'll wanna adjust based on your course, based on the, the line that you're gonna be following. And also, if you're following a black line on a white surface, then you're gonna change this brightness the other direction, but it might still work actually. We'll just give it a shot, but let's go ahead and run this. There we go. So it's just gonna creep right along, but there it goes. You can see it's going off and not seeing the line and then going back and seeing the line, off, not seeing the line, back and back and back. You could also play with the uh, light percentage, how much light is showing. So instead of 25%, uh, you could do a higher value. It might get a better reading. Let's see, let's see if we can get a better look at that. How about that? Is that a better look? Oh, you went off. You went off into nowhere. Okay. Well, let's see if he catches his line again. There, it found the line again. So this course might just be a little too too tricky for it. Yeah, it's looking like it might miss it again here. And I wonder if it was going the other direction if it would be if it would be just as good or not. Well, I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways you can do it. Uh, instead of degrees, uh, we, we could say turns, I guess. Um, you could say, oh, what happened here? I missed it.
I'm gonna try changing the percentage on here. I don't think I need it to be as high. Especially since it's so close to the ground. All right, let's see. Nope, that seems to work not as good. Actually doesn't work as good. So maybe I'll do 50% instead of 25. And it seems to be, it seems like that might be more accurate. Let's see here. This is the moment of truth right around this corner is where it tends to go off. Ah, uh, the turn is too, I figured it out. Okay, the turn is too uh, drastic for this guy's turn radius, okay? So if I had a smaller robot, uh, or if I had this, this sensor probably back here more toward the axle, I would have probably more accuracy. But as it is, when, it, when this turns a little bit, that goes way farther because it's out here swinging way out like that. Um, so I could probably try to put it here. I'd need to adjust some stuff, but that's really how you do a line follower. There's really not much more to it with VexIQ blocks. If you're using another software, if you want to do a lot more advanced um, uh, programming, you can. But uh, with VexIQ blocks, this is pretty much how you do it.